All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. We are gonna do something a little bit different today. We're gonna do a haul. And what that means is, I'm gonna show you everything I got from AliExpress. Now that's the way I save a lot of money on a lot of my razor builds. So it's been about a week since I've been home. I came home and there were a lot of packages on the doorstep. It's like Christmas and it's not even Christmas yet. So I'm gonna show you that now on Tackle That. All right, so I think all this stuff is for razors, but we might find something that's not, so bear with me. Let's start with this guy over here. What do we got? Now, first of all, I'm using this Gerber razor blade knife. This thing is pretty sick. I love that you can just replace the blades when it gets dull instead of having to sharpen your knife all the time, even though I do that a lot. All right, first one is... Ah, these are hall sensor connectors that allow you to switch from different types. So technically these are the cheap ones, these Chinese connectors that are not weatherproof, but a lot of the better motors come with these weatherproof connections and that will let you switch from one type to the other very easily. All right, what else we got? Oh. Cool, so this is a bracket for the zoom brakes. A lot of times they'll come with these bigger ones and the brake pads will be off of the stock 140 millimeter rotors. So you just toss those aside and get these. These are a 140 millimeter uh, mountain bike brake adapter and that'll allow you to attach the zoom brake calipers right to the stock mounts on the razor and the stock rotors all right moving along what else we got oh, and we got screws with that nice nice what we got here oh a bunch of bunch of stuff first one is <laughs> this is for a different project but this is an amplifier and these things are awesome. They're so cheap and it allows you to turn any kind of dumb speaker into a smart speaker by just adding a Bluetooth amplifier. That's one of the next projects. All right, this is, ah, Bluetooth. So these are Bluetooth ear pods. I think these were like $9. I bought one set, they were so awesome. So I bought a bunch more, and that's what these all would be. All right, what do we got here, what do we got here? Try not to slice into any of my bags. As you can see, they package them all up together so that you're saving money, not having to pay shipping charges on all the individual items. Ah, here's something awesome. So these are XT90 connectors. And since it has this little green notation, that's the anti-spark connector. So what happens is when you connect your battery up to your, um, let me see if I can get a male and a female here. When you connect your battery up to your controller, there's a transfer of energy to charge the capacitors in the controller. And a lot of times that's a big spark, especially when you're dealing with a lot of power. So these connectors actually will limit the rush of current going through it and it won't spark. That way you don't get any carbon buildup on your connections and everything runs nice and smoothly. Now those I'm gonna put in my drawer down here. So they don't spill. All right, what else we got? More little connectors, okay. So these are cool little Y connectors and this will allow you to attach um, two or three Scud batteries. Do I have any Scud batteries laying around? No, but you can check out my other videos on those. So you can connect those Scud batteries up to one controller and then you'll get the power of two or three batteries all pre-wired for you nice and easy. And I got a variety of different Y adapters and it looks like I also got some silicone cable. So this is 10 gauge wire 
and it's super flexible. This stuff is really nice. So that way I can make my own connectors and I can actually pick how long I want the wires and really make a nice clean build. And some more Y adapters. All right, what else we got? What else we got? This is, oh, that one's already opened. Okay, here's some tools. These are cool. So I couldn't find these locally anywhere, but it's gonna be an Allen to a quarter inch. So what I can do is when I'm building something and I need an Allen, that makes it a lot easier than actually using an Allen wrench like this. All right, or I can also put it on an electric screwdriver and it makes it nice and easy. So those are going to go right there with my other sockets. Nice. All right, this, ah, uh, a rotor. This is a 160 millimeter rotor. So it'll be a little bit bigger and I use better rotors on builds that kind of go over 30 miles an hour or 35, 40. Um, that way you always want to have braking, good braking systems so you can go fast and then also stop. So that's what all three of those will be. Something else in here. Ooh, that's nice. Actually, I'm going to combine that with these. So look, a little mini ratchet and quarter inch so now i can take off all those razor parts and plastics with a nice small tool and i can also get in there in those hard to reach areas with that as well ah that's not a razor part but <laughs> they have real authentic shirts on there hook outdoor shirt with a hoodie for <laughs> what a quarter of the prices that you would see it in the store they got everything on aliexpress i swear all right these are more connectors now these are the xt60 external or exterior connectors and what i mean by that is it's got a cover and it's also got screw mounts so whenever you're needing to have a connection on the outside of your razor or your e-bike, you can mount this to the plastics. Just cut a little hole, screw that in there with your weatherproof covering. And then whenever you need to charge, you take your charger and you plug it up to it and it makes it nice and easy. That way you don't have to fish or find wires up underneath your builds. All right. That one's gone. What else we got in here? All right, more connectors. Now this is for higher amperage builds. And these are the QS8S connectors. So you can see all the different size of connectors here. QS8, these are don't quote me on this. I'll put it up on the screen. I think like 100 plus amps, maybe 150 amps can go through this. An XT90, make it simple, 90 amps. An XT60, also simple, 60 amps on that. So there you can see the difference in sizes. All right, so you need to use the right connectors for your builds because if you put too much power through a connector that's not rated for that power, it'll overheat, melt, and could, could catch fire. All right, getting close to the end here. Ah, <laughs> highly recommend you getting all your connectors on the AliExpress sites or Alibaba. Now, AliExpress, usually you can buy 
50 pieces pretty easily or a small amount, you know, 10 connectors pretty easy. If you're gonna make huge bulk purchases, Alibaba is where you wanna do that. You can actually negotiate terms of buying in bulk and then shipping for that as well. But if you're just buying, you know, one-off bags of connectors, uh, AliExpress has definitely got you covered. So bigger connectors, medium sized connectors, more medium size, and these will be for all my solar builds, the big ones, and then the small ones for my razor stuff. So, really cool. All right, anything else in there? Nope, nope, nope. All right, what's in these bags? Ah, this actually isn't from AliExpress, but we got some solar wires in from Bateria Power. And that's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna have some videos where we use all these connectors and attach a whole bunch of solar panels together to a charger. And we'll see how that all works. All right, and it looks like we got another connector. Now this is, uh, looks like an extension cable. So this is a six foot twin wire solar panel extension cable. And then the, this one is a two to eight. So it allows you to connect eight panels up to two connectors on this one. All right, and last but not least, we have something from, what's it called? SIA, S-I-A, Ecosystems. And I know what that's gonna be, and some of you guys know what that's gonna be. Which one did we get? Far driver. So this is the small guy. Oh, cool, and it comes in red. So this is gonna be the Far Driver 72 volt, 35 amp. So it's gonna be a smaller controller, as you can see from the size, but it's gonna be so much better. I don't know if I have any of those. Yeah, I do, here. So much better than these. You're gonna get a tunable controller that you can make all the adjustments you want and you won't have all the problems you have with this. These are 35 amps as well. They're powerful, but the throttle response is absolutely horrible. Um, they just kind of launch, especially if you're a lightweight or a child. So no more of these. We'll be using either either the bigger far driver controllers or the small ones if you're building something for kids. This will be great. So we got this going on an MX350, the small build for my son, and that's gonna be perfect. He's gonna be happy about that. What else is in there? Oh yeah, that's all our connectors. And there's your wiring harness with your Bluetooth adapter for that far driver controller. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for joining. As you can see, we have a lot more builds coming up, so make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.